Come with us to a beautiful place where you're only three steps away from a lovely prize. Oh, did we mention? If you lose, you get eaten! <laughs> Okay, everyone, give me an S. Give me a Cratch and Sniff. What do you get? Yes, it's S Scratch and Sniff. Hello, hello, and welcome once again to Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom. Yeah! It's the game show we all plan to save yourself from a drop into our cooking pot of peril. that awaits all today's contestants. Unless, of course, they're sharp as a pin, in which case they can stitch up their mates to survive. But if they're as blunt as your bottom, I then they're gonna end up in our bellies! <laughs> <laughs> Who's tough enough to take on the challenge? Playing for their lives today, are oh! First person heading for our bellies today is Sam, who once broke wind in a school exam. <laughs> oh, Sam! Have you gone and done it again? Then there's Oliver, who says his best friend snores really loudly. We'll tell him more interesting stories then. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> the next ingredient is James, who once fell off his horse and landed in the mud. Well, look on the bright side, Jamie. When you fall today, at least you won't be landing in mud. Then there's Christopher, who sleepwalks. Don't worry, Chris. When you drop off today, you'll be wide awake, I promise. And finally, Matthew, who once slipped into a swimming pool fully clothed. I hate to break it to you, Matthew, but today might not turn out all that differently. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are our five players trying to save their skins and leave the Den of Doom alive. Take him with them. That ultimate prize... What, the, the gift of life? No sniff, something even better. The coveted Den of Doom Duda! <laughs> Den of Doom is the game where just three steps separate you from life and doom! <laughs> Get a question wrong and you move one step closer to doom! <laughs> But get it right, and one of your friends takes a step closer to do. Stop doing that. Let the feast begin. <laughs> Right, who's going to go first? What oh, do you reckon? Decide. I can't decide. I know, they all look juicy and lovely, yeah. don't they? I know. So we'll call upon the dancing lights of Lunk. There's one. Sam! Sam! She's a man! Sam, you ready to play? Yep. Just as well, because now it's time for... Round, round one. one! Sam, what shape are goat's pupils? Are they rectangular? Rectangular. Or triangular? Triangular. It's the wrong answer. Sam, step forwards. All right, Oliver, it's uh, your question. Do you prefer to be called Oliver or Ollie? Ollie. Good. Ollie. I'll call you Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your question. Which of these is an extreme sport? Extreme ironing or extreme washing up? It's going to be one of those two, isn't it? One of the two? Eh. Uh, ironing. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yeah, right. Well done, well done. Nominate. James. James? Why are you nominating James? Oh, uh, um, because he's the strongest contestant, I think. He's, he's the really strongest really contestant. Oh, well, there we are. James, how are you feeling, mate? Fine. You sure? Definitely. Not bitter, twisted, angry, livid, furious? No. Boring television, isn't it? <laughs> Step forward, mate. Okay, James, it's your question now. 
in folklore what happens to a leopard when it sees a hyena. Does it lose its spots or does it lose its fur? Fur. You reckon it loses its fur, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Nominate someone, James. Ollie. Ollie. Do you like James? No. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not surprised. Quick, run away from him. Step forwards. <laughs> hey, Chris, how your Ollie factory senses? Get a whiff of this. <laughs> Gravy, I tell you. <laughs> Was that Jack and Jill or this old man? Which do you reckon? This old man. Absolutely right, Chris, mate. Nominate. James. James? Why are you picking James? Well, he's the closest to the edge and I don't like him. As simple as that. I like that. He's blunt, isn't he? I like a blunt one. Yeah. Well, Step forward, going. James. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Matt, right down the end there, Matt. How many emails did Bill Clinton send while he was president? Was it two? Or was it two million? Woo! Two. Yeah, it was only two. I am so surprised. That's fascinating. Nominate someone, Matt. Jamie. Good. Well, what's going to happen to James? We'll soon find out. Take a step forward. James, here's your question impossible. What goes up and down without moving? Gonna have to hurry, you mate. Trees. Oh, James, that's a very, a very reasonable answer, but unfortunately it's not what's on my card, mate. The answer is temperature. Ah. Yeah. Sorry your trip from Wolverhampton's been such a wasted one. Yeah. Here, have we dropped James before? No. Gentlemen, the King, James the First. <laughs> Can you turn up the heat? It's not quite boiling yet. Brilliant. We've got one of you horrible kids in our pot. One down, hopefully four to go. Time to play. Den of Doom, round two. Den of Doom. Wonderful to go. Wonderful to go. Wonderful to go. <laughs> Your breath stinks. Thank <laughs> you so much. Let's have the dancing lights of luck. That's right, it's Matt. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Matt, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Stick, I'm doing very well, thank you. Pop his breath. I hope you fare as well as we play. Round two. <laughs> Matt, what is didascalinophobia a fear of? Is it going to school or furniture? Furniture. Is the wrong answer? Take yes. a step forward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. All right. How are you feeling, mate? Fine, thanks. Well, you look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your question. Yeah. When did IBM launch their first personal computer? Was it 1971 or 1981? 1971. Oh, that's wrong, I'm afraid. Step forward. I score in round. <laughs> Ollie, what don't bees have? Noses? Oh, ears. Uh, is it noses? No, that's the wrong answer as well. <laughs> Three wrong answers in a row. I like it. Delicious. Take a step forward, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. I'll have to do them, won't I? <laughs> Take a look at this. I once blasted this alien. What was six foot high with two fire breathing heads? I once had a run in with a 12 foot high seven headed alien from the planet Nog. Yeah, and I tell you this much, nothing would scare me now. Nah, me neither. I've seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 
right, Chris? We you watching closely? Mm, yeah. Here's your question. In the movie, Men in Black, who did Will Smith play? Was it Agent J or Agent K? Agent J. Scratch, is Chris right? Ooh, Chris, well done, mate, yeah. Will Smith, Agent J. Nominate someone. Ollie. Ollie, why are you nominating Ollie? Who's my main competition? Ollie, what do you think about that, mate? I hate him. Yeah, <laughs> do you? Short, sharp, sweet, I like that. But take a step forwards. Hey, that's what we like to see. Now they're Matt. Do snakes hear with their tails or their jaws? Jaws. It's the right answer. Oh dear, that's good, isn't it? Matt, well done, young man. Nominate someone. Ollie. Ollie again. Ollie again. <laughs> well, what do you know, Ollie? Oh, it's come to this, hasn't it? Ollie, take a step forward. That's how we like our children. Teetering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ollie, here's your question impossible. What is the day before the day after Christmas Day called? Five seconds, mate. Um, the 23rd. That's a good guess, a very good guess, but wrong! The answer was Christmas Day! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, a jolly Ollie day. <laughs> so that's two down and three to go. Dinner is shaping up nicely. But right now, it is time for you lot out there to stop picking your bums and get involved. It's. We want to know what pesky little animal has found its way into Sniff's pants. Here is a clue. This spiky animal rolls into a ball when he's scared. Uh, it's best to check under bonfires for them, and they love eating worms. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> well, you'll soon find out in just a moment. You all right, Sniff? <laughs> Earlier on, I asked you what animal had found its way into Sniff's pants. Now, this spiky animal rolls itself into a ball when it's scared, and it... Oh, hang on. It's best to check under bonfires, and, oh, yes, they love eating worms. What is it? It's a tiny prickly hedgehog. <laughs> He's arboreal, is he? Oh, what? Well, we'd better get on with the show, then. Back to the Den of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And they're always stocked up our cooking pot with a couple of kids who have taken a tumble into the den of doom. <laughs> Gentlemen, the king, James the first. <laughs> a jolly Ollie day. But it could do with a few more kids to bring out the flavour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play Dead of Doom Double Drop! Dead of Doom! Here we go to play a round where we don't get rid of just one, but two of you. Sam, Chris, Matt, who's gonna go first? Let's find out. Let's call upon the Dancing Lights of Luck! Chris, it's going to be you, mate. You ready? Yeah. Let's play Double Drop. Chris, mate, are you much of a DIY fan? No. Nah. Not do much sort of flat pack furniture building at the weekend? No. Not going to get this then, even if you hazard a guess. <clears throat> Chris, what was invented first? The screwdriver or the screw? The screw. Absolutely right! <laughs> Nominate. Sam. Sam? Why have you nominated Sam? Because he's um good competition, so I want to get rid of him. That makes absolute sense, yeah. Sam, take a step forward. <laughs> right then, Matt. 
According to French legend, what is the name of Santa's brother? Is it Bells Nichols or Bauble Noel? Bauble Noel. <laughs> good try. That's really good. You're really confident because you know your stuff, don't you? Yeah? No, you don't. He's wrong. He's wrong. Take a step forward, Matt. All right, Sam. Hey. Another question for you, mate. What is the name for a baby? That's a baby. That's a little tiny one that's just in its infancy. A don't baby don't. shark. Is it a pup or a calf? Uh. <laughs> go for a pup. You, you say pup? Pup. He's right. Should we just pull the lever anyway? I'll nominate. Chris. Chris. Why have you nominated Chris? Because he nominated me. It's fair enough. Chris, mate, take a step forward. <laughs> OK, Chris, where are our fuzzy ducks? <laughs> are they up Mount Everest or on Ben Nevis? Mount Everest? They are. Well, you've got good eyes, haven't you? That sends me strange. I tell you, looking at that. Well done. Nominate someone. Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam. You're very close to a drop zone there. Take a step forwards. <laughs> All right, Matt, it's your question, mate. The largest iceberg ever recorded was the size of what? Was it the size of Cardiff or the whole of Wales? The whole of Wales. Oh, that's right again. Right Nominate, you. mate. Sam. Yay! <laughs> Sam, step forward, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Our first contestant yeah. for the pot. I think someone needs to join him, don't you? They certainly do. Shall we have a head-to-head? -head? With Chris, yeah. with Matt. Yeah. Let's do it. Chris, here's your question. Elephants have four what? Knees or elbows? Knees. Mm. Right answer. Matt, step forwards. <laughs> Matt, here's your question. What creatures are the closest living relatives to dinosaurs? Is it hippos? Or birds? Birds. Are you sure about that? Definitely. That's your final answer? Yes. Chris, step forward one, mate! Even Stevens, look at this, look at this. Look here. <gasps> Sam, you won't be alone soon. Oh, Chris, you know if you answer this wrong, you're on the drop zone, you're joining <laughs> Sam, OK? <laughs> if you get it right, <laughs> Matt. <gasps> it's exciting. <laughs> Here's your question, Chris. Which king, in a pack of cards, faces to the side. Is it the king of diamonds or the king of hearts? King of hearts. You sure about that? Yeah. Take a step forward. Yeah! You're joining Sam. <laughs> well, guys, you two turn out to be the dumbo ones, do you? Say. <laughs> Wham, bam, Sam. Chris, you're not the winner. You're my dinner. Den of Doom. So, Matthew, you've made it to the final of Den of Doom. You're just one question away from becoming a winner. Yeah, do you want to have a look at the awards you might have won? Oh, we really lost you there, didn't we? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm going to bust this joint and win the trophy! Oh, you oh. think so, kid? Well, let's see, as we play the final of Den of Doom. <laughs> Matt! No. Matthew! Serious stuff now, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. We're now going to ask you your killer question. When you have an answer, you're going to go and stand on your chosen drop zone, OK? You've come a long way today, Matthew. All the way from Wolverhampton. Has it been worth it so far? 
Yes. We'll just push you off the edge now. Keep the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no. Serious. No. Serious. 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 Here's your killer question. Which of these is a shade of red? Is it one, navy? Navy. Two, crimson. Crimson. Three, cyan. Cyan. Four, turquoise. Turquoise. Or maybe five, royal. Royal. And you have ten seconds, starting now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Matt Matthew, you've chosen number two, yes. crimson. I wonder if that's a shade of red. <laughs> Shall we find out? <laughs> I can tell you, Matt, it wasn't royal. <laughs> Neither was it turquoise. <laughs> it wasn't even cyan, was it? <laughs> so that leaves only two. Yes, there's only two drop zones left. One right and one wrong. Scratch. Put Matt out of his misery. OK. Sniff. Take away. The last wrong answer. Karanga! <laughs> ah, there goes Navy. You were right, Matt. It was Crimson. Woohoo! Uh, oh. he, he's won! He's won! He... You've gone Crimson. <laughs> well done. Matthew, well done. You're a winner. Oh, here's a speech. Oh, great. Give him the award. Oh, all right, then. There you go, Matthew. Enjoy your doodah. Clear off. Thank you. <laughs> He's carrying a bit of weight, isn't he? Good point. <laughs> OK, we're off to find something for pudding. Oh, I think there's a school bus parked outside. <laughs> Meals on wheels. <laughs> I've been scratched, which means he must be sniffed. This has been down to <laughs> Save the bus driver for me! <laughs> you've been watching Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom. We hope you've enjoyed the show and would just like to point out that no children are ever eaten during the making of the programme. No, that's right, only before and after the show. <laughs> <laughs>